Hey everybody, Quincy here. I've been long overdue for an update for my sim pit. It's a cold, wet, dreary New England day and I figured what better to do than that. I've been working on the pit quite a lot lately and um, I've been held up though because I have been waiting for certain parts to be available. They were supposed to be available already but they're not yet available. I expect it's going to be months before I get them. That part is the TQS, so for now I am still using this uh, wind wing uh, thrust and throttle potass, um, just kind of jerry-rigged into my pit. It's, um, it's not ideal because its positioning is terrible. It actually hits my leg uh, as I sit in the pit and um, it, you almost have to reach behind you to uh, go to idle. So positioning's terrible. I'm looking forward to the new parts. That's also holding me up from uh, working on these panels here. But in my downtime, I've been doing a ton of work on the right console. In fact, I've been messing with wiring through our Duino. I've been using Megas and um, DCS BIOS to program all the switches. So a few things I've been doing is um, acquiring the proper toggle switches. I started with some that were not quite proper, but might have been decent price substitutes. Um, some NKK switches that were some two and three position toggle switches, locking toggle switches. But, you know, I decided it's, that's cool and they work great, but I just really want the right switches in here. And they're not cheap. So, um, as you can see, my avionics panel, my anti-ice panel, sorry about the shadow guys, it's kind of a dark room and kind of a dreary day again in New England, so uh, you can see the switches there. Honeywell and Auto switches, uh, the military spec switches uh, as appropriate with the appropriate locks. Um, Starting work on knobs too. I've been 3D printing knobs and adjusting how the uh, detents in the knob, uh, inside the knob work. Um, I have to actually custom make each one so that they fit on the posts that have the little flat edge. See these are some knobs that are in progress uh, for my KY58 and those stems haven't been cut down and those knobs have not been finalized but Pretty much a first try attempt at those. My lighting panel. These are also printed up, 3D printer. Um, whereas some of my previ previous knobs were made through an FPM printer. Um, that's the filament printer. These were made through a resin printer. And um, they are a little smoother. There are some issues still. Uh, and then I, I painted them. I painted some stripes. Some of them are a little crooked, but it's a good first try. Eventually those will be uh, reprinted in clear resin and designed so that backlighting in the panels uh, will come through and light up the white stripe in the knob. There's been a lot of wiring going on with these panels here, the sensor panel and hub panel. So those are wired. They're functioning. I'll show you in a second and as well as the lighting panel. Lighting panel works, the knobs are a little loose, but... And the avionics panel and anti-ice panel, those are both functioning right now as well. And I'll demonstrate those in a minute. So here we are once again. There's the screen. Here are the MFDs that replicate exactly what you see in, in DCS, as well as my... Um, DED, my indexers, also work. And let's see if I go down and hit my nose wheel steering. There's my nose wheel steering. So you can see all that functions. Now let's take a look at the underside of the electronics. Still a little bit messy. But I've been cleaning them up with different versions of how I want to um, uh, put these in. Right now the boards are hanging and they will be mounted most likely with uh, DIN rails. 
but you can see there's a lot of wires involved here. So I've got rotary switches. Um, I have two position, three position, uh, toggle switches, all with uh, various different uh, locking mechanisms. Again, there's the lighting panel. This one's using a Arduino Nano for now. It's all temporary until it all gets worked out. That's a Mega with a uh, screw board. Another Mega with a screw board. Again, all these switches are all wired directly. Um, the reason is I'm, I'm learning. So as time goes on, I keep getting better pretty quickly at um, the electronics end. And this is probably the most intimidating part of building this pit. But I'm, um, I'm getting better at it. And I I'm already getting more efficient at my wiring. And eventually I know that I can wire this stuff basically through one board with one input or two inputs, something like that, maybe using multiplexers, and I'll have a lot less wires in here. You could see that I've, I've made some quick disconnects. I took a header for this one, and I soldered them together, and then I have uh, DIN connectors uh, connecting that up. I went a different route over here. Ugh, hard to see. You can see all the DIN connectors coming together and the grounds are, are with these lever connectors. Ugh, it's a bit of a stretch because as you can see it's a little tight in here. All right, so let's look at these on the screen and watch all these switches work. Hopefully I don't trip. All right, let's put some light down here so it's easier to see. All right, back up to the screen. Let's remove the stick. Go away, there you go. All right, so all these switches are currently in the positions you see on the screen. Now, it's a lock and toggle. Switch on screen is now up. That's left hard point. Right hard point you can see is off. Let's go down. Take a look. Right hard point is now on. All these switches function. Press reticle, the three positions, primary, standby. Once again, you can see the switch on the screen. Let's watch it move. Isn't that exciting? Okay, all these work. So, a little more close up of the uh, lighting panel. Let's see, best way to get in here. All right, so again, these knobs are a little loose, but uh, the DED display, as I turn it, you can see it turn there. You can also see, as I scroll up, you'll see the DED get brighter and dimmer. So all of that actually works, and it's the same back here, avionics, anti-ice, and the rest of this is being wired up. The less important stuff, stuff you don't really touch. KY58, oxygen, zero eyes, nuke consent, so uh, air conditioning, that's probably next. So all that stuff will get wired up, we'll get the switches uh, set with the knobs and keep printing those out. You can see a bunch of prototypes over here. And then, uh, hopefully before the end of the year, I'll see that TQS. Um, another thing I did add and get running, probably the first piece of electronics I did get running, almost forgot to mention, is my uh, gear handle. This is also through an Arduino. I've acquired a lot of the switches that, that go into this panel, and um, I uh, took a while, it took me a while to actually get that switch to work right as far as the landing gear lever. Um, there's a solenoid in there, requires 12 volt power. I have disconnected it temporarily. Um, it was giving me problems with some ghosting um, and my gear lever was getting basically out of sync with what I was actually doing. 
So I decided the best bet with that right now is just to uh, uh, tie wrap the solenoid in the open position so that I could function that gear handle. The uh, strawberry in the handle does work. It's not going to work right now because I'm on the ground. But that works. I'm not sure if I already showed you that I designed a uh, bracket to make this gear handle box uh, sit in here. It's a couple different angles. Let's see if I can get some light. There we go. <clears throat> so I had to get some uh, angles dealt with, uh, as well as the mounting points that came with this box, as well as the mounting uh, holes that were already in the console. Um, it's very expensive uh, for this console, so I didn't want to drill any new holes. So that's where we stand right now. I'm just waiting for my uh, throttle, my TQS, so I can get all this garbage, this recreational stuff, out of the sim. And then I can continue working on here. Probably the, one of the last things, or next things after that, would be the main instrument panel. Um, especially anything that requires a display. My RWR, anything with the uh, push buttons. I do have a lot of Cori switches downstairs. Um, those are a lot more complicated than toggle switches. So I figured it's probably best to leave those for last because in the end, I actually uh, am learning enough about the electronics as I go that um, that's going to help me with the Cori switches. So that's where we stand, folks. I know it's been a long time for the update, but thanks for listening for about 12 minutes. And uh, I'll keep you up to date, hopefully a little more regularly. And for now, Quincy out.